Honestly, I don't think you can have good style if you don't have this, if you don't do this. I think, in fact, if you don't know this, you can't have good style. So we wanna be informed women and make really intelligent choices so that we can have good style. Hey, hang with me. Hello ladies, today's video is sponsored by Me and M, and here's what we're going to do. We are going to talk about style from a whole different angle. Recently, I watched a video by a YouTuber that I really love following. Her name is Sylvana Patrick. I don't think she knows me from Adam, <laughs> but if you're not following her, you need to be. She needs more followers. She needs more subscribers because this lady is smart. She's beautiful. She has a beautiful voice. She has great style and she's just smart. And recently I watched a video of hers in which she made the point that you could be really well dressed. You can actually even look really nice and not be stylish. There's a whole difference between just looking nice and maybe even looking pulled together, but being stylish is a whole different thing. I think style requires choices. In fact, I've said it before in previous videos that to look chic, you have to look like there was some intentionality. And intentionality means you intentionally made some choices that set you apart from other people. So today we're gonna to run through some of the choices. In fact, I think I have 10, 10 choices that we can make when we are styling our outfits. But it all begins with one really important choice that I wanna share with you. Like I said, today's video is sponsored by Me and M, and I think this is really going to resonate. I'm going to be showing you, obviously, some fashions from Me and M. They are a very fashion forward, but also classic brand in London. They do have a store also now, new store in New York, but they are based in the UK. And when Claire Hornby, their creator, created Me and M in 2009, she did so because she wanted women to have access to clothes that are both high quality and classic and modern. And so they focus on three Fs and so that all of their clothes fit these three Fs. They want them to all be functional, multifunctional in your wardrobe. They want them to be flattering on your body and they want them to have that live or wear forever aesthetic to them. So something that you'll keep in your closet forever. And I can tell you from having several pieces from me and M now that I purchased, I started purchasing from them back in January. And of course, several of the things today I'm showing you were complimented by me and M, but I do not regret a single purchase I've made there. Their pieces, the quality is just unparalleled. It really is. Um, they just have some really beautiful finishes on every single piece from their jeans to the beautiful blouse and sweater that I'm wearing today. Everything, just the detailing is pretty amazing. You know, Claire Hornby says that their kind of their motto is that they have intelligent styles for intelligent women. And you know, I think intelligent women make stylish women because when you're able to make some wise choices when you're getting dressed and you're putting your clothes on your body, then you're going to have good style. So let's talk about those 10 choices that we're going to need to make, we can make if we wanna be stylish women. But the very first one is like the baseline decision that you have to make when it comes to style. And that is, honestly, you have to decide, do I wanna be stylish? <laughs> and you know what? I think we need to understand right off the bat here too, it is okay if you say, no, I don't wanna be stylish. There's a big difference between just looking nice and or maybe just looking kind of a little classic, just having nice clothes and being stylish. In fact, let me read to you the definitions that I found in the dictionary for stylish or style. Style is a manner, a technique, a way, or a method of doing something. It's an approach. It's a manner also in which something is expressed, performed, or executed, and it's separate from the intrinsic content. So what that means, that last little line, separate from the intrinsic content means you put on clothes, you put clothes on your body, but that's not style. Style is the manner in which you put the clothes on your body. Style is the way or the approach to how you wear those clothes. 
So you could put on nice clothes, just kind of put your clothes on, like I've done here, you just put them on and you have on nice clothes, but you're not stylish. You just have on some nice clothes and maybe everything matches and it goes together okay and you, you got on nice pieces and, and you wear this out the door and that's fine. But I wouldn't call myself stylish right here because I've not made any choices whatsoever with what I've put on. And style implies that choices have been made. And one of the things I think you'll notice, if you begin to really notice stylish women around you, you'll notice that they have made some choices. They've made some very intentional choices. Sometimes they're very small, they're little details. But if you really study them, you'll see they did. They made some small choices and big choices. They styled their outfit. So the first choice we have to make is, do I even wanna be stylish? Because honestly, it's okay if you don't, if you just wanna put your clothes on and wear them, or maybe just put them on the same way that they do on the mannequin or the same way they do in the catalog and call it a day, you'll look nice. You can look really nice. You can look really great that way. But we can't really call ourselves stylish when we do that. Now, if you, like me, because I wanna be stylish, that is something I wanna be. It, and it's, like I said, it's no judgment call on somebody who doesn't want to be stylish. But according to Sylvana Patrick again, a stylish one, well, tell you what, let me read you her definition. Sylvana Patrick said, a stylish woman is classic because her style is timeless. She's also modern and everything she wears has her soul in it. She manipulates her clothing according to her moods and she's free of conventions. She has the confidence to be unique and special. When I heard that, that just really resonated with me. And that's what I want. I do want to be that woman who, my, what I wear may change uh, every day a little bit, depending on my mood, depending on where I'm going, what I, what I need to do that day, how I need to show up, what I wanna communicate. And I don't mind manipulating things. And so the rest of the choices that I'm gonna share with you are those little manipulations that we can make to an outfit in order to style it. And they're just choices. You know, I am a person who believes in right and wrong. I believe there is absolute truth. If you've been around long or if you follow my blog, you know that. I believe in absolute truth. I believe in good and evil and right and wrong. But when it comes to style, it's just not. <laughs> it's not right and wrong. It's not good and evil. It's not absolute. Style is one of those areas of life where we get to have lots of wiggle room and we get to be individual individuals and we get to be personable and unique. And so I think it's really important to give other women the opportunity to be stylish in their own way and then to cultivate our own style without feeling intimidated or antagonistic towards other people's styles. So let's talk about some of those choices that you can make with your outfit. Like Sylvana says, you, you manipulate her clothes. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna manipulate our clothes in little ways and big ways that really communicate something. So these are gonna be familiar to you, but I hope we'll kind of approach all of these with an open mind so we understand why we do them and what they accomplish. The first one is the front tuck. <laughs> and I know I have viewers who are huge fans of the front tuck and I know I have women who just hate it. But before you decide you hate it, let's understand what it does and why we do it. First of all, of course, one choice is you can completely leave your shirt untucked, like I've done here. You can just leave it untucked, and that certainly accomplishes some things. It's, you know, it's an easy breezy top here I've left untucked, and you can absolutely do that. It says casual. It says, hey, I'm just very relaxed. Uh, it's just easy breezy, so that's one choice. But the other choice is you could do a little front tuck. What does the front tuck do? It manipulates the proportions in your outfit because it defines the waistline. It defines the waistline though also without drawing a lot of attention to it. And it doesn't completely define the waistline. So you can't really see how wide I am or am not here, but you do know where my waist is. So it raises that line and it makes my proportions a little bit more one third up top and two thirds down below, which is the desirable proportions that we want to achieve in art and in style. Now, another thing, of course, you can do is you could tuck all the way around. So if you wanted to tuck all the way around, what does that accomplish? Once again, it changes the proportions. It adds some definition. It certainly defines where the waistline is. And it does one more thing. It makes you look a little bit more neat and pulled together. It gives a really polished look. 
Another step is adding a belt. So that's another choice. I can add a belt or not add a belt. I can front tuck here and not add a belt or I can front tuck and I can add a belt. What's the difference? Well, if I don't add a belt, then I look a little bit more casual. It's a little bit more effortless look. You know, I've said before, and I've said it in my blog, I, I really suggest that you take three style angles to define your style. And my style angles are classic, elevated, and effortless. And so that's why I frequently do a little front tuck, and then I add a belt or I don't add a belt because that gives me that elevated look. I'm wearing classic pieces, but it also gives me a little bit of an effortless look, which I really like. So that's what we accomplish with the front tuck, with the tuck all the way around, and with a belt. Another thing a belt does though, is it makes your look even more elevated. A belt is a piece of hardware. And so when you add hardware to your outfit, any kind of hardware, any kind of structure, it's going to elevate your outfit a little bit. It just makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, maybe a little bit more professional, a little bit more polished, um, just a little bit more classic, maybe a little older even. But here's another thing a belt does right now. A belt is so on trend. Belts, I know, they're just a piece of clothing, but they are very much trending right now. All kinds of belts, metallic belts like I'm wearing here, leather belts, wide belts, skinny belts, braided belts, wraparound belts. All kinds of belts, you name it, are really on trend. So adding a belt also makes you look a little bit more modern right now. Now there is one more tuck that we haven't talked about, and oh my goodness, I think it's even more controversial, and that is the partial front tuck. It's like with a shirt, a button-up shirt, and you leave tucked in one little, like the bottom flap of that shirt, and then you go ahead and leave out the top part of that rounded shirt hem there. And you know what? I love it. I think it is, it looks very intentional. Okay, now I know some people say, oh, it looks sloppy. And here's one of those things though, it's a choice. And so some of these choices are going to resonate with you and others are not. In fact, I'm going to show you a choice in a minute that is definitely a viable choice, but it doesn't resonate with me. So it's okay though. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It just means it's not my choice. But right here, this is a choice that I love to make. And let me tell you why. So let me tell you just, you know, like maybe if you're one of my, I hate that, <laughs> You know, viewers, I get it, I understand, but maybe put that down just a minute and let me just explain to you what this does. When you do a little partial tuck like this with your shirt, it does identify the waistline. So even if you want kind of that effortless, casual look, you have identified in the outfit where the waistband is. You see, when I don't tuck at all, like when I've, I've just completely left the shirt out and it's just kind of hanging there, there's like no definition, right? It's just kind of hanging. But if I at least tuck that one little front part in, then the I know where the waistband, visually I can see where the waistband is. It does raise the proportions because I see the waistband and so I can see how long it is from the waistband to the end of those pants or to the floor. So it does give me the desired proportions. But it also does something else that I like, and it, that is it gives me that effortless look. It looks a little undone, and a little undone is actually a style. It, it's kind of in style right now. And it's very in style, in fact, to be kind of wear polished things, very pulled together things, but then leave something a little undone. And that's what this does. It also can, if you just kind of look at it and take it in here, you'll see that it also actually elongates because you had that long shirt and then that front hemline of that shirt that's left undone, it kind of acts as an arrow pointing down. So it's, it gives you actually a vertical line and vertical lines elongate, whereas horizontal lines widen. So this shirt tail, this partial shirt tail left hung, hung out here, <laughs> it does kind of create that vertical line and it elongates. So, that's just the reason for it. That's why some people choose to do that and others choose not to, and it's okay. But here's what I would say is you need to make a choice, right? You need to make some choices. Um, I think the biggest mistake that sometimes women make is just buying a top and some pants and putting on the top and the pants and then just calling it a day, not making any choice about, am I going to tuck this? Am I gonna put on a belt? 
Am I going to front tuck? Am I going to partial tuck? You know, what am I going to do here? So make a choice and, and own that choice and, and uh, on any given day, right? Because some days I'm going to wear my shirt like this and other days I'm going to wear it like this. I'm going to wear it different days, different ways. The next choice, and probably I should have started with this one, is jean and pant silhouettes. You know, when we, when we buy a pair of pants or we choose a pair of pants from our closet to put on, it's not just putting something on our bottoms, okay, that's going to keep us warm and that we can wear to be decent when we go to a restaurant, right? We're, we're putting on some pants and we're making some choices. And also, it's not just about the color and it's not just about the fabric. When you buy a pair of jeans these days or you buy a pair of pants, you have so many choices about what the silhouette will be. You can go with something very classic. A classic silhouette is and always will be, I think, just a straight leg, a straight leg jean, a straight leg classic trouser, just a straight leg pant. And I would say too, probably the most traditional would be kind of like a full length that hits right at top of the foot, okay? So that's, that's kind of classic. And, and classic straight legs actually are really in right now, so that is a very contemporary choice. But the more modern your choice when it comes to your pant or your jean silhouette, it's gonna do something. It's going to, first of all, it's gonna change the silhouette of your body. It's going to define your body. It's gonna define the parameters of your outfit. So yes, this is a really important decision and it can add bulk, it can add visual weight, it can also slenderize you, it can make you look taller, it can make you look shorter, it can certainly do all those things, but those are not the only things that it does. Choosing a silhouette of jean or pant also can change the proportions and it can change the style aesthetic. And so if you are a stylish woman who likes to style her outfits and on a given day you want to look a little, I don't know, more boho, you want to look a little free spirited or whatever, then you might wear a certain kind of pant or jean. On another day, maybe you want to look really classic and really traditional and really you want people to take you seriously. So you wear a really classic dark wash, basic blue jean. But you know, a, every choice you make as far as a silhouette, it's, it's a personality choice in many ways. It's a mood choice. Now in all of these looks, I am wearing, I think one pair of jeans. <laughs> I'm wearing these great me and M jeans. They call these a baggy low rise jean. <laughs> but I have to tell you, they're, I don't find them to be low rise. They hit right at my belly button. So I actually, actually they have a high rise. And to me, they don't fit on me baggy and they have a nice straight leg. It's a full leg and it's straight and it goes just to where I want it to. And I love these jeans. Let me tell you something about these jeans. I went the other day I wore them shopping uh, to different nice stores and other women were in those stores shopping. And five different times that day by either salespeople or other customers, I was asked, where did you get those jeans? I love those jeans. They look great on you. I am 60 years old. I don't get compliments on my jeans very often, but that day I got five different compliments or requests to know where I got these jeans. They are amazing. And let me tell you why. They are a modern jean. They are that full leg, you know, straight leg, full length, high rise jean. They are very well made. And like I said, me and M really focuses on making their clothes flattering. And what they've done here with this jean, as they do with many of their trousers, is they made it to where they fall straight from the bum <laughs> to the bottom, to the floor, to the bottom of your leg. Meaning they don't hug your bum. Like I, I don't go up underneath your bum and then fall down. They, they lay on top of your bum, hit, you know, fit nicely, and then they fall straight down. So like a nice trouser fit so flattering. Over and over and over I got compliments on these. So anyhow, choosing your jeans and choosing your, your pants silhouette, it's a choice and it's going to say something about you, it's going to communicate something, but it's also definitely uh, has going to have some style implications as far as your silhouette, as your proportions, how tall you look, how short you look, and things like that too. But it's a choice, it's just a choice. 
Now, another choice you could make, and I don't really have any here to show you because, well, I have made a choice, and that is you can choose jean embellishments. Right now, it is so on trend for jeans to be a little extra, a little something more to your jeans. So you're going to be seeing jeans with all kinds of pockets, patch pockets, utility pockets, cargo pockets. You're gonna be seeing jeans with lots of embellishments, anything from rhinestones to sequins to embroidery. Jeans with still gonna see some rips and distressing. You're gonna see jeans with zippers in weird places and you know, just all sorts of things. Oh, those wide cuffs, for instance, and you know, just all those things, variations, raw edges, you will see a lot of that still too. So just all the things. And you know what, we, once again, we have to understand that each of those things are a choice. I mean, aren't we glad that we live in a time and we live in a place where we actually have choices, <laughs> where we can all wear different kinds of jeans and enjoy them. And I love that. And there are certain things that I probably won't wear. I'm like, I'm not really one to wear embroidery on my jeans, although I have in the past. I'm not really one to wear some little rhinestones on my jeans, although I have in the past. I don't care a whole lot for just overly distressed jeans, you know, lots of holes and rips, so I don't wear a lot of those. But I do love, you know, some patch pockets occasionally or some cargo pockets. I love that raw edge hemline, I'm a big fan of that. So we get to make choices. And I think it's important that we make some choices, that, that if you are in a style rut, really, one of the best ways you can get out of that style rut is to make a new denim choice. So maybe choose a new denim silhouette, something really modern like this fuller straight leg or a, a cropped length straight leg is still really into so many great modern choices. Or you could choose one of those embellishments. If they really speak to you, they resonate with you and they reflect your personality, that's a great choice to make. Let's start to talk about some other styling choices. We've talked about the belt and the tucking and all that, but there are other ways that you can style your outfits that are choices. They can be very intentional. One is your collar. So there are so many different ways things we can do with our collar, especially if you have a collar like I do on this shirt and also on this little jacket. You can button your shirt all the way up like I've done here. Here, I'm wearing this shirt, this beautiful floral blouse. It has a beautiful lace collar and lace details on the sleeve and a smocked sleeve, making it really comfortable here. But here I'm wearing it completely buttoned up, just really buttoned up. And that's a style aesthetic to just look really buttoned up, kind of really prim and proper, a little preppy, I would say even. And like I said a while ago, I was gonna show you a style a choice that I probably would not make, and that's it. I, I love this style choice and other people. I love seeing them all buttoned up and then the little vest over it. I think it just looks really prim and proper. And you can tell that this person has intentionally chosen to button up her shirt all the way and to wear a vest over it to look a little prim and proper. That is a style choice. It's just not one that I'll probably make. I don't, that's just not me. But I just want you to know that's certainly something we can do. Now, another thing you can do, of course, is unbutton one button. You can unbutton two buttons. <laughs> You can unbutton several buttons. That's a style choice. You can pop a collar, like I've done here with this jacket just momentarily. You just pop the collar up a little bit in the back or all the way around even. That's a fun thing to do. Another style choice is what to do with your sleeves. And in fact, I've kind of noticed these days that if you just wear your sleeves all the way down and all the buttons buttoned and everything like I've got right here on this precious little jacket, from me and M. It's a jacket that you can also wear as a shirt. And if you leave the buttons all the way buttoned, it looks very prim and proper, but you know, here I've worn it, it's all buttoned up. I've worn it as a shirt and I've buttoned it up and I've got my sleeves all buttoned and I haven't tucked anything. I've, I've made no choices here. I've made no style choices other than to put the clothes on. And it just looks a little boring and it looks a little overwhelming and it looks a little concealing. Like I'm just all buttoned up and covered up. And so I think it's important to occasionally make some choices either and with your, your collar or with your sleeves. And of course with your sleeves, you could just unbutton one button and cuff it up once like I've done, or you can even unbutton it twice, you know, and do this works the same way on like a shirt sleeve, just a regular button up shirt. And you can roll those sleeves on up. There's all sorts of ways to roll your sleeves. I kind of like the real casual roll if I'm gonna do it and just scrunch them up a little bit, that little bit of effortless look once again. Or you can do that little J. Crew, you know, fold up thing and everything and make it a little bit more neat. 
Those are just style choices. The final two uh, style choices we need to talk about are one, accessories. Of course, when we add accessories, that is a choice, and I think we just need to be aware of it. So instead of just like picking up your old handbag as you walk out, or you know, just throwing on the same necklace, you know, think about it. Think about what are you communicating, or how is this affecting your outfit? Even your sunglasses you put on, you know, make a difference in your outfit. So when I go out and about, I try to wear either light colored sunglasses if I'm wearing something all like this here I wore this white these white pants from me and m with this same sweater vest and shirt for a recent blog post and I don't know if I have them on here or not but I wore light colored glasses for that blog post because I just kind of seems to fit the outfit to me. And then on the other hand though, I might wear darker glasses if I was wearing something darker or, or red or whatever. So, you know, choose your sunglasses accordingly. Choose your jewelry accordingly. Like today I've worn all pearls. I just thought pearls looked really good with everything I was wearing. It looks really feminine. It's a way to add a little femininity to the kind of more edgier, more masculine vibe of some of these pieces. And yet at the same time, they also go beautifully with these very feminine pieces from me and M as well. And then of course your shoes. Boy, shoes can really make or break an outfit as I talked about in last week's video. If you haven't watched that one, be sure to do that because I got some really great modern choices for your shoes right now and how to wear them. But you know, just the shoes that you choose, whether you choose tennis shoes like I've done for several of these outfits are going to tone your outfit down, make it more casual or maybe a little bit more edgy even. Or if you choose to wear some pretty pearl sandals like I've done here, these beautiful little Napa pearl detail sandals. Both of my shoes are from Me and M and they are just lovely. Their construction is beautiful. Just the detailing is amazing. So very different shoe choices. One is very a little bit more masculine, a little bit more casual and playful. And the other one is very feminine, very elevated, very on trend, both of them though. So choices, choices, ladies. Are you making some choices with your outfits today? Do you choose to be stylish or do you choose to just get dressed and look nice? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But if you wanna be stylish, you got some choices to make today. And I hope you'll make those. Hey, listen, to shop these outfits, remember I will list everything below and I will give you a link also to my LTK shop where you can shop all of my most recent looks. But be sure to check below in the description box for the links to Me and M. And thank you again to Me and M for sponsoring today's video. You know, I only work with sponsors that I really love and that I can highly recommend to you. Thanks so much for hanging with me today, ladies. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you haven't done that because we need to be good friends. I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye.